What is up? This what is old, going on? This old school flow is just getting me going. Ah, it's so good. It's, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. I missed you. Uh, another session here on five six. Uh, talking about guardrail uh, for our business systems. They're yeah. awesome. The guardrail business systems. Here with Clay, business coaching his tail off today. I have never coached my tail off more than today. I'm, I'm being honest with you, Thrivers. I actually started this morning. I've, I'm always honest with you, but I'm being very Double honest. honest. Yeah. Double, it's triple. Um, I started my first consulting meeting this morning at 6 a.m., and my last one ended at 6 p.m., and nice. I had no breaks in between. But thankfully, somebody called to reschedule. So I had... Nice. Uh, what was it, 11, 12, me, back to back to back. So I am jacked, ready to be here with you. Let's get this going. Okay, I'm going to start with a uh, notable quotable. You bring that. Okay, this is from the authors of Putting the Profit Chain to Work. Uh, that was in the uh, Harvard Business Review. Yeah. They said, uh, a popular concept of quality in manufacturing is the importance of doing things right the first time. Yeah. But customers of service organizations often allow one mistake. Some organizations are very good at delivering service as long as nothing goes wrong. Other organizations, uh, other organization, others organize for and thrive on service emergencies. This is my first time reading, by the way. Yeah, ever. <laughs> Outstanding service organizations do both by giving frontline employees the latitude to effect recovery. 